Good morning. Uh, I want to talk to uh, lads and ladies today about grass. Well, not so much grass, but um, the cutting of, the mowing of, the creation of meadows, that sort of thing. Because when you arrive here, you'll find that uh, we have a slightly different approach than we have in previous years. And that's actually not cutting the grass as often. And there's a particular reason why. So below the ha ha, um, we have an area of grass that we only cut uh, twice in the year and what we're finding is that we're getting lots of lovely uh, wildflowers in there. Uh, last year we um, mowed it and then we took off all of the cuttings and uh, we've had a beautiful uh, bluebell uh, season and now we're getting um, further uh, eruptions of colour with the the yellows there which are um, beautiful buttercups. Um, the point being that this is a managed area and it looks lovely. This is one of the lawns and as I walk through it you're seeing all sorts of varieties. Ask me to name them and I couldn't. Now that's Ragged Robin I think. Um, and here we have a, uh, a thistle um, and more buttercups and as I pan upwards You'll see lots of uh, ragged robin. It's rather lovely. Now, usually um, at this time of year, these lawns would be uh, mown to, uh, well, with an inch of their life, well, not really an inch. Um, but what we were found finding was that because of the difficulty in drainage, we were starting to get um, lots of moss and uh, also lots of. Um, rashes uh, which are unsightly and which plague um, farmers fields across uh, the highlands. Um, we really need to look at the variety of the grasses um, in our lawns to make them more robust. If we're going to get more rainfall then we need to be able to increase the variety in the paddocks in the pastures to ensure that we have um, robust swords. So what's going to happen is we're going to start to uh, mow uh, very irregularly, maybe uh, two or three times a year um, and encourage the wildflowers to grow in each of the, uh, the lawns. Um, I think this is lovely. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the whole thing works uh, over time. And just to give you an idea of context, so here we are in the lawn, and here we are at the castle. So uh, the thing about this longer grass and these uh, beautiful uh, wildflowers is that um, their root uh, stock increases the taller they get. Um, so. The height of these um, flowers and the grass at the moment is about up to my knee, so maybe 18 inches. Um, that means that for some of these plants, their roots um, are going down 18 inches into the meadow or to the lawn. And that then means that when we have large uh, vehicles like uh, the tractor behind me, um, we're not actually creating ruts in the uh, landscape at all we're in fact creating um, areas of tamped down grass. What will happen is it will, it will come back, as long as we don't abuse it. But um, the point being that last year, if we'd taken the tractor over that, um, it would have sunk into its axles. It's now not doing so. Um, it allows us to be much more robust about how we manage the land. And Barty, obviously, because um, he needs a lot of management. Um, this is the other reason why there is uh, much value to be had in this sort of foliage. You get bees, you get bugs. And for all of those who are wondering just why exactly I'm posting about flowers and grass, we have a slight hydraulic issue uh, with the mini digger, which a friend of mine is presently sorting out. Well, I'll be finishing it off tonight and we'll be back on track uh, tomorrow. Um, we've been out of action for a while, 
and of course it's stopped us with our path creation and it's also stopped us with the castle clearance. We'll get back to it shortly um, as it is.